All right, so this leads us into lenders requiring that the mobile home title be retired. We've been seeing this a lot lately, and a lot of them are actually requiring that they are retired before closing happens. So when titles are retired, what's happening is the mobile or the manufactured home automatically becomes part of the land. So the titles no longer have to be transferred, and the home will transfer with the deed to the property. The owners will not have to keep track of or pay for duplicate titles or transfers in the future. And then annual decals won't need to be purchased. A permanent RP sticker would replace the annual RP sticker, and the mobile home would be taxed with the land just like a single family home. So if we go back to the story that I was just stating about the foreclosure, if the mobile home titles would have been retired prior to closing, that never would have happened because they would have been part of the land and they would have transferred just like a home on the property that was being sold. So that's why it's important to the lenders for those title, titles to be retired before closing. All right. So in June of 2004, the method of retiring a mobile or manufactured home was created. To retire a mobile home, the following must be completed. So you're gonna to have to have the original title. If there are no original titles, you can obtain a duplicate. And then what you're gonna do is you'll actually have a retirement affidavit, including the legal description, the title and VIN information, and it'll have to be signed and notarized. And this is going to be recorded along with those original titles. So once those documents are recorded, the owner will file an application for retirement of a mobile home certificate of title accompanied by those recorded documents and the original titles. And then the HSMV is going to notify them once that title has been retired in their system. So until that's done, a mobile home is not retired. And we can actually go into the DMV system and verify that it has been retired. So here's an example of one of our mobile home retirement affidavits. You'll notice the title is very clear at the top. It's going to have your parcel information. It's going to have your legal description, as well as the mobile home information. And then about halfway down, very clearly, it states the make, the model, the year, the VIN, and the title number for each side of the mobile home. So this would be a double Y. There's two different title numbers on here then it's signed and it's notarized, and that's what we would have recorded and then sent to the DMV for the titles to be retired. Right, so now we're gonna talk about the real property stickers. These are those little stickers you see in the bottom corner windows on a mobile home, and there's a couple different options that you'll see. So the real property stickers are actually proof that the mobile or manufactured home is already being taxed as real property. The RP stickers are issued when A, the mobile or manufactured home is tied down and connected to the normal and usual utilities, and B, the owner of the home is also the owner of the land on which the residence is situated. So RP stickers need to be placed to the lower corner of the window closest to the street or the road providing access to said mobile home. Hey, Sydney, um, we actually have a question. Are you okay if I ask it? Of course. All right. Um, so the question is, can you retire a title on a cash transaction? You can. So a mobile home title can be retired at any time. If it hasn't been previously retired, we would still go through the same steps and we would go through the DMV and we would actually have it retired the exact same way. So even if you weren't doing a transaction and the owner just wanted to retire a title, they could do that themselves as well by going down to their county office. Thank you so much. And that's it right now for questions. Okay, perfect. All right, so the difference between permanent and annual RP decals is as follows. A mobile home that is permanently affixed to the land that is owned by the home's owner. So 
So if the owner owns the land and the mobile home, an, a one-time RP sticker will be affixed to the home. That's going to be the permanent RP decal. If the land is not owned by the same person who owns the mobile home, an annual sticker is required. So this is seen a lot if the owner owns the mobile home, but they have lot rent and they're in a mobile home park or subdivision, they're going to have the annual sticker. There's a different colored sticker for each year, and the owner must renew every year to obtain a new decal. So it's much like you would see on a vehicle. Here's some examples. So this is actually what the Florida Real Property Registration looks like. It's very similar to your vehicle registration. In the top right corner, you can see an example of a permanent RP sticker. So it's going to have the information and it's going to have the decal number that's going to match your registration. And that's what you would have on the corner. If it's an annual RP decal, it's going to be one of the colored ones as seen in the bottom, or the bottom right corner. And then the little yellow sticker that's going to go in the middle is actually going to look identical to the sticker you put on your car's license plate. It's going to have the month and the year that it expires. So RP sticker decals are important because the HSMV will not transfer ownership or title to a mobile home without proof of payment of taxes, and those decals are that proof. So if the mobile home is new, sales tax will be due and proof of payment will be necessary to transfer the title. The title must still be transferred even if there is an RP sticker unless it is properly retired. So a lot of times we'll have clients come to us and they think that the mobile home is retired because it has that real property sticker, which is not the case. You have to go through those retirement steps to have the mobile home titles retired, or it's not. 